Welcome to Tornado Weekly, your Yelm High School news channel. We're your hosts, Tommy and Nola. This Wednesday, September 21st, is the first late start with tornado time. School starts at 8.25. Get your sleep, tornadoes. Homecoming dance will be October 1st from 7 to 10 p.m. Tickets go on sale Monday, open for two weeks from September 19th through the 30th. $15 in the ASB window, first come, first serve with tickets, and do not worry about not getting a ticket. No outside guests are allowed. Students will need their ID ASB card to get into the dance. Nola, what are you wearing to homecoming? I got a short black dress. Oh my god, me too. But really? mine's sparkly. Ooh, my hair's okay. a little bedazzled. So. Okay, that's awesome. Are you, bringing, are you bringing Aiden? Yes, I'm bringing Aiden. Are you bringing anyone? I'm just going with a couple friends. We're going to nice. go to Kinja and oh, get dinner okay, before. Oh, nice. We might do that too, actually. We're not sure yet. Maybe see you there. Yeah, maybe. About 7 to 10 p.m. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Homecoming court voting will take place over a Google form, and there'll be one for each class. Make sure to look in your school email for that form. Hey Tornadoes, here's your sports update. I'm Aiden. I'm Josiah. Games this week include JV football against Puyallup, boys tennis against River Ridge, girls varsity volleyball against Gig Harbor, girls JV and C team volleyball against Gig Harbor, girls C team soccer against Capital, girls varsity soccer versus North Thurston, girls JV soccer versus North Thurston, and the rest are our week games. Football played CK this Friday and won 58 to zero. Braden Platt scored five touchdowns and had a 97 yard run, which is the new school record. The last school record was by Willie Corretto against Central Kitsap last year with a 90 yard run. Girls soccer beat Edenville this week 3-0. The ladies were tied with Peninsula at halftime, did not pull out the victory. Great job, ladies. Cross country competed in Gig Harbor on Wednesday. They got second place, while Zach Walsh placed fourth out of 58 competitors. JV also placed 10th out of 70 competitors. Zach Walsh for being named the best athlete of the week. He got 16 minute in a 5K and placed sixth out of 1,000 competitors. He got the second fastest time in school history. Girls Volleyball had their first home match this week and they showed up. They beat Federal Way 3-1 to one, and the student section was rowdy and awesome. Man, I really wish I had some help on this math. Need some help? Yeah. Well, it's a math tutoring that will be on Tuesdays in Mr. Daniel's room. And on Thursdays in Mr. Mr. Hume's room. From 2 to 3. Students can bring their math homework, tests that need correcting, questions about a concept covered in class. Just be ready to do some work. Hey, Tommy. Hey. What's Forrest Gump's email password? Mm, I don't know. What is it? One Forrest One. <laughs> 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 Here's your class of 2023 t-shirt orders are open again. Order forms will be emailed to you or you can pick one up from the front office. Orders will close on September 3rd. Please talk to Ms. Anchors or Mrs. Hopkins if you have any questions. Remember we're doing a school-wide campus cleanup. Please pick up one piece of trash every single day. And if you see someone doing this and feel they deserve a shout out, you can send their name or a photo of them to this account. Special shout out to those who cleaned up during and after the football game that we held on September 16th. Thank you. If you're interested in automotive, engineering, manufacturing, or welding, come join Skills USA to find out what the club is all about. Our first meeting is Tuesday, September 20th from 2 to 3 p.m. in room 333. Hope to see you there. That's all for your announcements this week, Tornadoes. Remember, this, this is, is why. why.